Thaddeus, captain of the Osiris, and I fear this will be our last transmission. We are under heavy pursuit and have sustained critical damage. We are going to attempt an emergency broadcast drop in the Matrix. All we can do is hope that somehow this disc reaches Zion, and if it does, it is not too late. Whatever's in that box cost Thaddeus his life and the lives of his crew. And I have a feeling if we don't get to it first, it's gonna cost us a whole lot more. There is only one way to enter the Matrix. We're in. On May 15th. You're here. The next evolution of interactive entertainment has you. Let's go. Enter the virtual world of the Matrix. A parallel universe to the Matrix Reloaded. Actions that take place in the game that you move through and play affect the film plot. Packed with one hour of exclusive footage. In the video game, there's certain information that you don't get from the movie. Written and directed by Larry and Andy Wachowski, the creators of the Matrix trilogy. It's a very special key, meant only for the one. Will you bring it to him? What does it unlock? The future. If we fail, Neo fails, and that cannot happen at any cost. Battle alongside the original motion picture cast. Niobe, please be careful. As careful as I can be. On a mission that comes down to one question. So are you red or blue on this? In the war to save Zion. What part will you play? What's up guys, Extremes Edge here, aka Gaming Review Punk, and today I'm going to review a game that I liked playing when I was a kid, and that game is Enter the Matrix. Now, this game was released for PS2, Xbox, GameCube, and for the PC. When I first started playing the game, I only played it on the PC at my uncle's house, and that was back in the good old days. Then a couple of years later, I bought Enter the Matrix at GameStop when it was used, and when they were still selling PS2 games at the time. But look at the case I got from GameStop. Looks like this game was for rent before it was somehow ended up being for sale at GameStop because on the back it says Blockbuster Inc. I know you can rent movies and games from Blockbuster. Plus look at this, someone put a GameCube instruction booklet inside for a PS2 game. Like seriously, are you kidding me? How do you screw that up? Oh, and of course there's a Blockbuster logo right there behind the instruction booklet. Well, that's enough of that, so this game was developed by Shinny Entertainment and was published by Atari. Alright, since that's out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the game. So from there, the game starts off with the original footage, and it starts the cast from the movie trilogy of The Matrix. In this game, a guy named Sparks will be your operator, and after that, you can choose to play either Ghost or Niobe to enter the virtual world of reality and enter The Matrix. So the story begins where you have to go and pick up this package that's left at the post office or in the matrix by another crew. Don't worry, I'm not planning to tell the entire story or plot for this game, so yeah. The game does take place roughly the same time as the events in the second movie of The Matrix, which is The Matrix Reloaded, just to let you know of course. Now to talk about the gameplay. You can use hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game, which is pretty sweet. Also love that kind of stuff for The Matrix. Not only you have to use your hands to fight in this game, but you will have to use guns as well, which is pretty cool to use in this game. Not only that, you can activate the bullet timer, which is called focus in this game. It helps slow down time when you want to shoot in mid-air or dodging bullets. 
but you will need to use the focus button in this game when you need to jump to a certain spot from time to time. But the focus button does help you run up the walls and you can do side flips off the wall while you're shooting at the bad guys. Make it look fancy I guess you can say. The focus button can help you with hand to hand combat against agents or enemies that counter your attacks. But using the focus button while attacking the agents won't do any good because you will have to run away from them most of the time and you know those agents are a major threat in the matrix and plus shooting at them won't do anything cause they always dodge bullets. You also get to meet up with Trinity or Sarah from the movie and you get to fight them one on one in a martial arts battle. Of course you have to fight other people as well in this game. Just to let you know, I'm not a fan of driving the car in this game, but I know if you pick Niobe to play as, you'll do the driving most of the time. But most likely, when you play Ghost, you'll be shooting your gun as Niobe is driving, and I thought that was pretty cool. Also, I will mention this game does have a badass soundtrack, a lot of catchy tunes and even at the end of the credits, one of Evanescence's song was playing. Well, I think that's all I have to say, and if I keep going with this review, I may end up talking about the entire story with this game. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to wrap up this review. In conclusion, I thought this was one of the coolest video games ever as a kid when I first played it on the PC, and to this day, I still think it's a very cool video game, and I still liked it. Sure, there are things I didn't like about the game like the driving part, but the shooting part while Niobe is driving, that's a different story. Also, I should have mentioned that the graphics on the consoles are better than the PC version. Like the PC version, the graphics are kinda weird, and I never noticed that before when I first played it. Like on the PC version, looks like some things are just square to me. Like the glasses or the wheels of the car. <laughs> like, really. That just made me laugh to be honest, but nonetheless, Enter the Matrix is a pretty cool game and it has a good soundtrack. Plus, I think the gameplay is good in my opinion. It will always be part of my childhood. So therefore, I give Enter the Matrix an 8.5 out of 10. So that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed this review, click the like button, comment right down below if you want to, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and to check out more contents along with some new reviews from me. Follow me on Twitter and SFM, link is in the description, and that'll be the end of this video, so yeah. See you guys next time, and peace out, and remember, let the Wookiee win.